Hello guys and welcome back to House Seadrain, where we are continuing as Magister Maylis the Bold, even though he has hair. In fact, I won't even check. Oh, is it because I've given him this? Yes. Okay, his default is bold. He is actually bold according to the game. You know what? Let's make him bold. He's called the bold. We'll make him bold. <laughs> Magister Maylis the Bold of Dragon's March, 63 years old. With a Magister Hagen next in line to the throne. And, I mean, Aegon's probably thinking, I'm 28 and I'm in this tiny little island. What's going on here? Well, there's questions about if if Hagen is even the right man to inherit. But unfortunately, there's no other option, really, because Helena is our only other option. Uh, but she's a woman. That wouldn't happen in this world. Besides, Hagen can't be that bad, right? He's just an adulterer, lustful, vengeful person. Vengeful and calm. Well, how those two work together. But we are going to continue on with our game here. Um, this save is, and I will admit this early on, this save is getting a little slow, uh, despite it being quite early on. And I think that may be because I may have started this on just the wrong patch. And that I think Agot has made some patches since this point to sort of change things up. And... Uh, yes, I know these down. And hopefully that when these sort of things are lower down, hopefully the game will get back to normal speed. Or at least that's my hope, because if it keeps getting this slower, we're going to have some problems. And hopefully next update especially, I've already been told, sort of fixes a lot of these problems, at least. Oh, my book's finished. Wonderful news. I love my book. Go to the court. You can go put the book up. Book. Because it, look how grandiose our court now is. It truly is a, one of the greatest courts you'll ever see. I did also want to check on the legend because Valerian is now up to... Uh, how many? We can increase his quality! As I say, does he have enough? Yeah, he has 100. Now we need 300 to increase it again. But we've increased this and now this gives us... So we have a true hero. I picked up, which gives stress loss per level of fame and monthly prestige, and all of these get upgraded again. So diplomacy per level of fame, uh, and martial, which will happily take a martial increase. Another adventurer. I'm always, always going to find adventurers. Dragonstone, the dispute lands. Go to Dragonstone. See if there's any Valyrian items there you could pick up. We're going to continue funding the spread of this thing for a little while, at the least. Um, it is quite expensive, of course, but we can afford it for now, at least. Uh, let's hope he promotes it. Something truly unique. I always go for something truly unique, because I think you can get some very good items out of that. Why can I, I can only demand half of the gold he has. Oh, no, it's because oh, it's the maximum I can demand, that's why. <laughs> good thing I demanded it. Oh, my goodness, I would have I would have lost all the money if that happened. Oh, lucky me. That could have gone real bad. Uh, pay the ransom. Oh, and that means we, if we wanted to, we could go to war with Mir again, right? Have more claims. Good, good. Maybe I, I want to see if I can get Jaren as a claim. And see if I can attack for all these at once. Just, you know, we're just slowly cutting into Mir more and more and more. It, it does... This whole thing does feel a little weird to me because my main series is so not about conquest. We have conquered a lot, but you know the the, the key principles is not about um, con uh, conquest, and it's never been about conquest. So it does feel weird playing this game, where at least early on we're going quite heavily for conquest. But honestly, I think it's kind of a problem with uh, a got in general or CK three, sorry, in general CK three a got. Like, a, the Agot team is doing what they can with CK3, but CK3, because you need graphics for everything and you need this and that for everything, it it's so much harder to, to make these things work. So it, I'm hoping this new update we're getting, which will add, you know, non-landed characters and adventures, which I'm definitely going to be doing stories in. I hope when that's fully working in Agot, we're going to be in a, in a much better situation. Because if we end up in one more you know, situation in terms of, um, sorry, in, it will be in a much better situation of getting these sort of role play scenarios and getting these internal matters to deal with, and not everything will be an external matter anymore. 
And that would make me personally very, very happy because it is a bit tiring at times that so much of CK3 relies on this or that to make these um, games sort of work. And, you know, how much you have to do to... Because to, even without... Con if you don't... If you're not in a multiplayer game and you're not having Conquest, you're going to be having a slow game. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but, you know, in CK2A, got there was so much you could do outside of these main sort of... Uh, there's so many smaller things you could do. And I'm really hoping CK3 catches up on that and has a lot more than just things up in war and conquest. And I hope there's more internal politics and matters you can deal with. They're getting more and more. Each DLC is giving more and more. And it does almost seem like to me that... Uh, yeah, why not? That it's becoming more and more of a of a wish within the community that this does become a thing. Well, we're basically just going to fully surround the city of Mir again. Can I claim Mir and take Mir? Or is this another one that I wouldn't be able to do? Let's just keep going. Let's just see if I can get all of it in a war. <laughs> Why not? But it, it's... it's There's a lot to... Um, this game's way. Having dragons is actually going to add a lot. Because even though dragons seem like they're a conquest thing. If you've watched my CK2 series. You know how much more there is to dragons. And just conquest. Is that all I got? You did all of that to get a piece of oily black stone. I paid so much money for that bloody oily black stone. Ooh, um... Change legend chapter. I cannot help but notice something. My first question, did Lord Valerian not meet with a mystical woman in the city of Melenos? Did said woman not rise from the waters and give him a divine mission? Uh, if that went well, it would give... Holding taxes plus 25% and a popular opinion. Let's give a go. Okay, okay. That's pretty good. We get the, uh, the domain tax. Which we'll take. So my, my son's already denounced and an adulterer. I mean, the denouncement of him felt justified. I can't really forgive him either. I could grant him a pardon, but I don't really think he's deserved the pardon after everything he's done. You know, he's not he's not sorry about his actions. Never will be. Yeah, my health's going to take an extreme penalty with this, uh... Oh, I don't know if it's starting to go there. That's a shame. Um, you know, and as old as I am, that's going to be... Ooh! A Cedric Battle Axe. How is it compared to the Mace? Ooh, Captain Efficiency, I, would, I think, is better. But now we have two good weapons. No sword, though. I was hoping for a good sword. I will, We can just destroy these ones. They don't really matter. And, you know, we can continue to look towards... How much would it be? I think it's a 1,000 something to upgrade to level 3. Yeah, 1,600. So basically double what we have right now is what we would need. My half-sister can get married. Hmm. There are no... Men of our culture? Married to Hagen. Why not? Just steal the Valer the Targaryens thing. Steal their whole flow. Hold court. Yeah, let's let's hold court. I did say I want some internal matters. Master Aemon of the Big Lands accused Magister Daeron of Coney Island of unlawfully holding the main over lands, which should rightfully swear fealty to him. The town of Olypios is his primary ire, and he presents a case that the Magister of the Apos bearing fealty to him has caused an unbalance in the realm. Uh, yeah, we can fix that. We'll change that around. A foreign guest approaching my throne and loudly proclaims, It has been a while since I arrived at your court. I've carefully observed how you rule and address realm matters. And I have been nothing but deeply impressed. Among the Mirish, there is a tale of an old legendary ruler from a distinguished di dynasty. It is a story that my mother told me when she was young. She heard it from her, from her mother oh so long ago. And now I have a great pleasure of telling you that I think you are the legendary first magister of Mir Mirish legends. And I believe any son of Mir should sur surely agree with me. A mighty endeavor for Cedric legend seed. Or, uh, or no, I'll, I'll get one for the city. Getting one for Dragon's March would be great. 
Master, Master of the Spice Exchange. Come on, man, we don't have all day. Yes, yeah, yes, my lord. I may not. Representing the disgruntled traders and freemen from the Spice Exchange, the, the Prince's Court is great to see. Palazzo, our master, is a, a barrier to commerce, to commerce and the town's interest. We humbly ask he be replaced. Interesting, 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 interesting. So he can pay to hire his incompetence, or 15 years of that isn't that great. This one's probably best. Um, this one would increase development, or development progress. And lose 40, he would lose 40 opinion, and I get to pick meddling, which reduces Republican vassal tax. Um, let's make him apologize for his wrongdoing. I mean, it only benefits me, I don't see how that... The townsfolk aren't upset about this because they didn't get anything out of this, but we take it. Okay, so it's not a success to you. Is it your successor then? Yeah. <gasps> oh my god, a wild oat. Also, born of the wrong line and lean. What shocking news. See if you can make, make me some better armor. Probably not, though. Let's have a look at the legend now. I can get the full duchy. Oh my goodness. It seems like you just get that every single time. I don't know if that's because of like how good he is or if, if that's just a matter of fact that that always happens. But I can basically claim everything other than... Can I not directly claim these? Surely I can directly claim these. I own the duchy. Or maybe I'll just have to do it in a second war and we're going to have brutally ugly borders for a little bit. I can't allow surely I can't allow that. You know, let's not try the capital because I think I don't I think the capital was a bit it wouldn't let me take. Let's try here, at least. Because the Duchy of Mir is at least apparently in my claims. Which you no, know, it should cover all of this. It should even cover these bits outside, which it doesn't seem to. What does it? No, it does, it does, it does cover the bits outside. I just need to get these two. Or well, probably it won't let me take those two. It sure reminds me of the day, of the day Fate decided to start Lord Valerian's. Uh, interesting, okay. My piety is impressive. Well, thank you. I get that all the time, of course. Maybe we, we should just take a time to build a little more treasure, because I think if I raise my army while promoting the legend, I'll actually lose money. Yeah, because we have 52 max, so I'd have to pause the legend when doing this and which honestly we may get the legend soon it's on 280 of 300 for max level a historical record a weave uh sure could get a weave for opposite this one because i already have one weave or one tapestry a court event available a ghostly pen my poet, as she always does soon, as soon as I'm in rage, starts to claim to me, Oh, you precious darling, it must be such a hardship to live life as one abandoned by the muses. You command armies, but you cannot comprehend the written word. Has mine can ever written a more exquisite tragedy? Allow me to assist you. I could write, you some of, write some of your speeches for you. Tell me the few, and I shall apply a beauteous turn of phrase. Sure, I have a ghostwriter. I don't mind Helena having a, a hook. I mean, she's my daughter, so... Makes sense that I would like my... Or you'd hope that I would like my daughter, at least. You never know. My god, we actually can just fully upgrade the legend. It's at maximum quality already. Well, how about we have a sit down and a read of this, then? Wandering through the wetlands, Lord Valerian of Dragon's March cut out a great and wise person living in the waters who gave him a divine mission. When a tearful, desperate, poor peasant requested an audience with him, the pious Valerian could not leave his pleas unattended, and quickly set out on an adventure. His legend culminates in a marvellous adventure. His great deed of arms was such that all the kings had wonder thereof, and many nobles and commoners came, uh, came to encounter, came to his encounter, but they wished to see the legend in the flesh. However, this was not the end of the tale, for when Valerian made his way home, he helped those in danger and avenged their affronts. Bandits, beasts, and evildoers could not hide from the fury of his blade. Much had changed since Valerian had arrived. 
Where once peasants rolled in squalor and barbarians bled the land dry, Valerian had spread the lights of civilization. Though there were many rocks in his path, he collected them uh, as uh, all as a means to build a new E.T. All across the realm, babes are named for Valerian, as the masses sing out in great chorus for the stranger from Yeti who helped rebuild their great... He's not from Ye. What? Why do they think he's from Yeti? <laughs> the guy who was born in Dragon's March, you know, he's also from Yeti. Don't worry about it. You know, I... We're going to give a bit and if this one gives me this county, I'll try it on Mir as well. If it doesn't, then we'll just go for the war. What's a form regale, but he's only competent. I'm not going to go for the competent ones anymore because they aren't all that competent. There we go. We have 500 gold now that our legend's finished. And I should be able to no longer promote the legend because it's already at its max. Put him on his regular duties. Or at least, no, we'll, we'll see if we can get a legend seed. Great deed for the free city of Dragon's March. So this one gives... Owner press... Owner... Uh, monthly prestige. It gives the exact same, does it? Yeah, it gives the exact same. Guess the great deed one. Uh, must give the same each time then. Betrothal between my, my half-brother Aegon C. Drake. And Lady Adaris of Tarosh. Sure. Why is Tarosh's capital over here? Well, Hagen's wife passed away. That's awful armor. Yeah, it's really not that good. We'll keep wearing the laminate armor, but we'll, we'll keep this just in case we one day need it. Do I not have a crown? No, I do have a crown. I have the excellent crown. Well, maybe we'll get a metal smith to, or we'll get a inspiration to build a better one than that. Why have I lost so much? Income? Owning a legend is what's costing me all this money. So even though I'm not promoting it, it is costing a significant amount of money. Or maybe, oh, if I complete it, does that end it? Uh, completing it. Uh, do I get access to this? Yeah, I guess because it's max le level, I can complete it. On the end of the legend. Here at the end of the book, uh, here is the end of the book of Lord Valerian and his noble deeds. That were unmatched in the whole land. Valerian's legend culminates in a marvellous adventure. His great deeds of arms were such that all kings had wandered there rather. Many nobles and commoners came to his encounter, for they wished to see the legend in the flesh. Let it be told! And now we can just keep it in our library. And we can create this great deed for myself, but I don't see the point because it's an identical great deed. If somebody wants to tell me why I should do that one, if there's like any bonuses that actually gives me, then go ahead. Gain one time access to the legendary adventure cast spell, allowing you to abandon your current realm and seek fortune in another kingdom. We're not going to do that. Demand local submission. 15 is to demand fealty CB. Oh, wow. That's a really good one. Uh, we're not going to touch that for now. Save the building in time. Oh, it's the... Yeah, it's just the harbor. That's fine. But what... I'll keep that one in mind. Because I do think there's something that can be done with, with that one. When we form an empire title, we could actually do it on Tarosh. But to form an empire... Do I have a found new empire? I do. Yeah, I need... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get the realm size one. So it would have to be the three kingdoms. Right now we have one kingdom. I could get another from Mir and then another from Lys. But more likely, what I could do is conquer Pentos and then form uh, the Empire of Pentos. Yeah, you need 57 to do that. It's a very expensive one. And you need two kingdoms as well, does it say? So you need the Andalos title as well. Although all I have to do is actually take the Pentos title because I've created this this uh, third title here. That's fine. But now we're earning big money again. 76 a month, which means that we'll be earning uh, positive income. Let's say clear grounds for something. What can I clear grounds for? Favor skilled outsiders. Fund an expedition to Old Valyria. It's new fashion at court. 
Oh yeah, clear grounds for a legendary building. A legendary statue. Interesting. Or you can get a shrine, a palace. So to do this one you need um, an, a mythical heroic legend. Okay. Well, let's play the grounds. So it's in the jugular. So down here you can build a legendary statue for 800. Bloody hell. Oh, but whoever builds it gets or gets August. That's actually pretty interesting. Does it give everyone who owns it August? Because that would be really good if, if like, you could just always have August. I'd really like that if, if, if that's a thing. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, at least. Let's have a look. If I was to attack Mirka, do I also get a claim on that city? I do. We're going to give a try, then. We're going to hope I live another 18 months to complete this one. But I think this one it still won't give me. Just because I think that's how the game works. Uh, I gained the trait Rakish. Which were... And then all this one which would... Either way I'm going to have a effect to my health it looks like. But I think this would be a lesser effect to my health. So we'll go for this one. Mission a legend artifact, which will make a, a book which will commemorate his legend. We'll do that in the future. I'm not going to do that just yet. Well, I could fund an expedition to Old Valyria because we can get eggs through that. And or we can get um an egg on my half-brother. I think I have to, right? Give the boy a chance to make his name. Farewell, Aegon. Good luck. Good chance he could die. All that, I'm not going to start the legend. I still don't know why I own this bit down here. I'm assuming that this was um, messy inheritance. Oh dear. Aegon and his crew are long overdue. I fear Valyria has claimed yet another soul. Sent a 16 year old boy to his death. And it cost me 500 bloody gold. Let's go to Daeron's hunt. That could be good for our stress. Whoops. They ate a sick plant and got sick. I mean, is that really my fault? That you ate a plant and it got you sick. Let's go. We're going to try and ambush a hyena. I don't know. You could get hyenas in this bit of Essos. Oh, it escaped. But they did get the fangs? It escaped, but also it didn't. I mean, honestly, that wouldn't surprise me. Guess we're going to be late. I just, I, apparently, I'm somehow still with people. I mean, 34 prowess isn't actually that bad. Got to give him some credit. Um, Adara to who? Corvio Thasios is my grandson. Oh, through Helena. Sure. Okay. I was a bit confused there. I was like. He's not a sea drake. Do a grand tour again. But with the war coming up, I think we'll do this after the war to celebrate victory if, if we are victorious. I mean, you'd hope we'd be victorious, all things considered. Camp fever spreading. Another weave. Uh, I mean, I where would I put it up? The only chance I'd have is that it'd be a higher quality one. So I'm, no, there's no point doing that one. Why do people hate hold fast? This little this little guy is incredible. Every meeting he goes to gets just a hundred times better. I wish it would tell you when you got the pet dogs. So you could tell how old he is. Because I do wonder how old Steadfast is. Oh, I've upgraded my fighting skill. Am I not the greatest of this this realm in this time? 
Greater Magister Melee Stabol. Head shaped like an egg. I've gained another... I didn't even see I've gained another domain. Um, that means I could retake Cliff's High then, because it's the leveled up one. Oh, and a stewardship. Okay, so let's get... Oh, this one's good for me because I've got high stress. This is up to 86 in monthly income. Wonderful. Okay, yeah, so I can't take the city. But we're going to do it anyway. Raise all our armies. Oh my goodness. My kingsman Tessera has fathered my nephew... Dayron! Dayron, what are you doing? Little Tessaro. Oh my goodness. This is... This is... Shameful behavior by a sea drake. No sea drake has ever done this before, other than all of them. Let's march on Mir. I could call on to Rosh, but I should surely I shouldn't need him. I should completely outnumber this just by myself. Oh, he's going to increase his feudal taxes to me. How wonderful! Oh, he does actually have advantage here, but it's it's not going to help. 23 commander advantage. Is she... Well, she's one of my specialists, so I assume she's the best. Yeah, she is the best. Makes sense. See if we can take the capital. Oh, it's gonna be... It's gonna be 18 months to siege it. Let's try and catch him again. Beat his army a couple times before I try and see, siege Mir, because I know Mir's gonna take a long time to take. Oh, I thought I caught him there. Oh, no, I have. He wants to fight there because he's got the defender advantage, but it's not really going to help him. Helena's doing incredible work in battle. Wounding everybody. Let's uh, try and take this city. Oh, what is... Oh, my goodness. He's got... <laughs> now I've got two pointless little armies running about like this. And then they want to siege the... I wonder if uh, sieging a place with the plague means that you might get the plague. Because that would make sense, right? I mean, at least you'd think it would. Yeah, we can catch him here. He leads every single battle, but it doesn't do anything for him. Let's take the city and temple here. Unless I can catch him a third time. Oh, no, I caught him in the city itself. Perfect. Yeah, he's not going to be too big a problem now, I think. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mid-war. Lord Malius of Dragon's March has given up the ghost. at 69 years of age. Well, this is a good thing and a bad thing. Good, because we... Pressed our claim, so we actually, you know, we can still push our claim in the war, which is good for us. Bad, because I thought you could get a bit more out of him, unfortunately. I'm not going to marry anyone to Pentos, because I would rather rule Pentos. Right, so where is my inherited land? It is, yeah, uh, this duchy over here. So what we can do is we can grant this to my son who rules the isle here. We grant him, not the city of Pentos, but all of the flatlands instead. And then also grant him these vassals over here. Uh, grant vassal. Just fixing things up. I can't... Tr Oh, because these aren't... Because I forgot to actually give him all of the titles. That was silly of me. Give him both of those as well. There we go. We're down to eight. Do I need to give away more? Or is this going to be fixed by... I don't have a wife. That's probably a big problem. Because wives usually are the big ones that help. Am I able to get married or am I widowed? Okay, I can get married. But no, I have my... My, my wife, Baylor. 
Oh, it's because she's um she's a ruler. So she can't actually do anything for me. Ah, oh, damn. Unless I like, divorce her? No, I would I don't have enough prestige. Okay, well then we do have a problem then. We will have to give away probably Cliff's Height and Dragon's Peak. But I'm hoping we can get them back eventually. Let's give them to not my sons, because I probably I want to eventually take these back, so it doesn't make sense to take them from my little boys. I can give it to my son and my brother in law though. Grant him Borough of Dragon's Peak, that's fine. And now we're a mid war magmatrix. I was like, goodness me, I didn't realize how much how good an intrigue he actually was. He's an absolute master of this. Get a good spy master as well then. Convert to Baylorism. No way. Breakish makes a lot of sense for this guy, all in all things considered. Disabled buildings should come back. Now, there we go. My son Hagen's unmarried. We can marry to, a, to one of the Blackfires, that would be fun. Yeah, Emma Blackfire, why not? I mean, they're a Valerian line. <laughs> Let's say no to Valyrian blood. It's a form which he's a master. Oh, even better. We will absolutely you will always take these guys. Um, see if we can get a sword out of this. If it's a dagger, I'll be a bit upset. Another master he wants to go to lease. Yeah, sure. Because I've got I didn't even see I've got two thousand. Oh my goodness. Oh, because because I, I fully inherited the gold because gold isn't split. Uh, chest or cabinet? Let's get a cabinet. I have about 100 plots going on. Uh, this guy up here. He's no longer my vassal, so I don't need to sway him. We can end that scheme. See if we can just disperse these armies once more. We'll make a throne. I don't think I have a throne right now, do I? So I, I can request that one. Another court event available. There's a loud belch echoes through the dining hall. All conversation abruptly ceases. My red priestess pats his, uh, pats his stomach and grins. Or oh, red priest, sorry. Pats his grins. Ah, better out than in, my dad always said. That's wholly appropriate. You must agree. Um, Yeah. I don't care if he's a red priest. He's got to learn manners in my court. I'm the only one not allowed to have manners in my courtroom. Get twice schemes. Get an extra hostile scheme. This guy's going to be good. We can do a lot of hostile schemes with him. So I like this idea. Let's hear the petitioners. Magist uh, Majestic First Majesty. In my beautiful homeland of the Mandible. We are being encouraged to abandon our customs and adopt high Valyrian ways. Uh, our peoples already share the beautiful Valyrian Valyri Valyri Mavitone. Let us preserve our local practices. Um, no, you will adapt. I'm faced with Balon's sad eyes, which grow larger and more pitiful as his mother, Rainy, gently asks him towards my throne. He's Westerosi Valyrian? Yes. This boy has been at Jaehaerys' court with no one to watch over him since the disappearance of his dear papa. Please, look to his future. I can raise him myself. Sure, why not? Culture extent. Uh, yeah, I don't care about the Pentos. That event, I, I already knew I was gonna, like, I don't care about Pentosy. Yes! Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes! <laughs> A Valyrian steel sword, all of our own. Roof. The Valyrian steel sword of House Regare is now ours. It is a noble family of ancient lineage from Lys. The golden hilt is ornately carved, hinting at the family's obscene wealth, gathered over centuries in the banking profession. And now it's mine. And I think we just stack wiped uh, them as well. Stack wiped me. Yep. I don't care if it costs me a level of fame. That is worth a million levels of fame. People don't like me anyway. In fact, you know, I've got, I'm sitting on so much gold. Let's just uh, do what we've been waiting on. Finally upgrade Drake's Bay. 
it looks like Mir has also got um, holdings now, so I could start up uh, constructing things on down here as well, which is very good. A casualties modifier and night related modifier. What just happened? I attended some local separators. Also, uh, I spent evening drunk on merriment and wine. As I wake in the morning, I find myself in a damp cellar with a huge hangover and a newly built wall covering the exit. The days pass with a blur after that, and I find it impossible to stand, to sit, then to think. Assassinated. We just. I, I cannot. I, I can't believe it. We've just granted this land away. We've been assassinated. We need to get. I mean, he, I, I was about to say we can have a really good time with a fun spy master. Well, we need to get you on disrupt schemes because clearly someone's plotting against us. And oh god, everyone who's good hates me. But everyone hates me. I think it's just a different problem that everyone seems to hate me. Uh, let's send some gifts. I'm not giving him truth. Send him a different gift. Yes. Okay. Uh, we're intrigue focused again. For a second time in a row. <laughs> but, but hopefully this one will be good. Let's actually get Natural Dread. Because I've not played Dread Focus in a long time. And I think that could be fun. Now I need to figure out who I'm going to give these to. How old's my son? Vagon's old enough that actually he should be granted a, a title anyway. So if I grant him... No, not the City of Pentos. If I grant him... These again. And the City of the Flatlands itself. And again, have to grant him these vassals. Ooh, this work. Grant vassal. Grant vassal. The work will continue. Uh, they're not listed as continuing, so I'm not sure about that. Now I need to re-equip everything. Uh, we'll place a brilliant gemstone with a piece of oily black stone. And this one is good because of the health boost. One I didn't cover. Oh, another brilliant gemstone. How many brilliant gemstones do you need, honestly? And I have four artifacts for the royal court. John's skull. The skull of bandit lord John, who was killed in an adventure by Darman in Dragonstone and then later gifted to me. Uh, Don't know if it's better than anything already on the pedestals. But let's have a look. This one gives... Only prestige, whereas this gives prestige dread and natural dread. Yeah, that's way better. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him well. Well, we're back to only owning six things again, so. Why? Do... Everyone seems to hate me, though, is a problem. Everyone hates me. I was not expecting to have two characters die this episode. I mean, I wasn't even, you know, these episodes aren't planned out. Uh, I have some story with the series. I don't plan out any of my episodes. I have stories, but, you know, nothing more than that. I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting death after death after death to put us in this strange situation we're in now. Again, I have a bunch of unraised and unstationed men at arms. It's also a problem. Snow Owl is absolutely needs to be an accolade. This guy's incredible. Snow Owl is, is just truly one of a kind. Have another successor there. We're going to invite some captains to see who we can get. No, yeah, we're we're in a good we're in a good spot. Don't worry about it. Everything's turning up our way. Just because every single person hates us doesn't mean we're in massive continual problems. I mean, it, we are, and it does, but also it doesn't. I mean, yeah, he, they, they all really hate us. Let's start with swaying uh, Idaro, at least, then. Oh, come on! Why oh, is everyone dying today? What's the problem with the siege? Do we not have enough siege weapons? We have 100 ranked miles. Don't have more than that. No, I actually only have 100 siege weapons. Huh. I should consider getting that changed. Let's split this army. 
hit the one that doesn't have the manga nails and follow after you. Bow again. Do the loop de loop. And he leads all these battles, and yet I've not fought him once in combat. So there's something to say about that. Perhaps he wishes into f he fears combat and he hides from it. Vagan has come of age. A honeyed broker. He excels in the cutthroat world of politics and commerce that dominates the free cities. Mastering magic and subterfuge, Vagan is a true lord of the city. With an ast he's an astute intellectual. He's basically well, just a really well-rounded guy. That could be really useful for us as our, as our heir. And a uh, magnificent throne. That's far better than I was actually expecting. Right, let's go to my court. And we can... Where do I change my throne? Oh, yes, here. Magnificent throne. A knight's decoration. I hope to hear Gorello proclaims him to my wife, Raella. Is he reciting... Romantic poetry to my wife. Um, to the dungeon with you. How dare you? My wife. You wouldn't dare. It's the exact same. I actually was surprised that, that I didn't know if we changed first because he's literally looked the exact same. Right down to the beard and identical beards to each other. But that sword sucks. Might be a good sword for like a, a son. But you know what? I can give some artifacts to my son anyway, right? Might as well. Let's give him the battle axe. And also we can give him uh, one of the armors, because we have a lot of armors too. Give him the brush lemon armor. Clement refuses to expose who he is spy uh, who is spying on you. Banish him. How dare he? Vaughn's cabinet. What a great name. Vaughn's cabinet. And it gives us renown, court grand champion's party. That means we should be pretty good on inspirations for a while. I'll still make you know pick up an item or two if I think it's a really good item. Uh, but like a you know a master of scale armor, absolutely going to give him a go. Casualties modifier. Night, I always go for night related modifiers because I think casualties are ones you can manage in separate ways, whereas obviously knights are just knights. Bought him again. And we're about to take the city itself. Hopefully we capture uh, like his heir or something and that will force him to surrender. Because we can't seem to capture him. Or I steal his throne. <laughs> Short reign duration. Um, that doesn't really matter. That's probably good for um, Republican characters. So I guess why I get why that would be a Mirish throne. Because Republican characters always deal with that modifier, because obviously every single reign they do is an incredibly short-term one. Oh, for the first time we actually, even for only a day, gain a modifier on him. Very, very close now. We're very, very close to being him. And some off prisoners. They're not crucial prisoners, and they're only like ten percent. I always rank them more way because the the money is easy to make. Or rather, sorry, the percentage is easy to make back. But there should only be the city left unseiged in Mirit proper. So if the child in law of my dynasty, so it's my brother and my sister in law, Alyssa. Hopefully, you only need to take one more. And then should be done. No! That, that might be actually the most crushing death of all. Snow Owl just died. No! Not Snow Owl. I'm, I'm sad. Snow Owl was incredible. He's gone! We've lost the greatest knight in the history of our realm. And I don't own Mia, of course. Because you never own Mir. So the only way I could 
I, I don't really know how I meant to take Mia proper from him, because he's basically landlocked now. He's literally surrounded by all sides by me. Which is border gore to the max. It's it's very weird and not well laid out how I could take it from him. So am I, am I really not getting any more... Yeah, my stewardship's too bad for it, is the problem. 17 stewardship ain't gonna do it. That's a shame. But we should be able to own Mia proper. I mean, we could realistically... Mia's actually four. Is Pentos also four? No, Pentos is three, so Mia is larger than Pentos. That's interesting to know. Uh, at the very least, let's start granting away these duchies. So the outskirts... You're technically Lord of the Outskirts, but you would... Or you should be Lord of the Outskirts, but you hate me. Could I revoke your title? No, you would rise up against me. Don't really want to go through that. Let's have a look at these titles. So these titles will be, are led by whoever leads this one here. So I can give this to my brother, Magon, and give him the city, and it will be Dijon. So it's only really uh, the city of Mir and the... And this I have to worry about. Let's grant Hysterion to... Who's Aethon and Sea Drake? Oh, Baylor's kid. Okay. You're not sure, Aethon. You can have these two. Which would be the outskirts. And then Aberfields is already owned. So the only question is the Southern Market, Beer, and Lysan. Because I there's no way I can hold these, but the question is who should? It could, it could make a good heirs title, but I've sort of made the heirs title the Flatlands so that they're not too far away from, you know, Dragon's March and Pentos, which does make sense. We can usurp... Oh, he's fighting a war, so I can't actually usurp it, but I can usurp that title at least. We can usurp the kingdom title, but to do that, we he has to stop fighting his war against... To Rosh. Why didn't you go for that one? Why didn't you go for this city? It would have been way better if you went for this city. It said now Mir's going to be split up into three different Mirs, which, as far as I'm concerned, can only go well. Who to grant Mir to? This is a fun question. And you know what? It's one I'll leave them to you guys. Let, let's sort of look at our situation here. We're now a new lord after we've had two successive quick deaths. But Aegon's pretty, you know, decently young, a sodomite, but 37, with his heir having just come of age, Vagon in the Flatlands. We could take these lands away from uh, Vagon and instead give him Pentos, perhaps? Or we can... I mean, there's a lot of options. We can give Pentos to a Pentoshi to keep them happy. We have our second son, uh, Hagen, we could give it to. Oh, sorry, Maekar is our second son. We can give it to Maekar here. I'm sure Maekar would be very happy having a city and a title of his own, or we could give it to someone else in the family, or someone outside the family, if there's someone you think is worthy of that title. Either way, Dragon's March is massive, and I will I will do whatever I can to get Mir. If it has to be a save edit, so be it, or if there is a way when this war ends to take Mir, I'll take Mir through that, because the intended way of taking these cities is pretty bad, and we'll hold court when we get back. But... I hope you guys have enjoyed. I've certainly enjoyed making this series. And also, should I give away the jugular? Because we are we do have a chance of getting So no, it's only the person who completes construction gets all this. We have a chance of making this legendary statue here. But it's not that great. In fact, the monthly renown would be good. If we just give it to a Sea Drake, we'll still get a monthly renown for House Sea Drake. Either way, it's good, but it's not great. But the juggler does earn us some money. But probably not as much as keeping parts of Pentos would be. Or sorry, Mir would be. But keeping Mir is going to be a problem in and of itself. Either way, it's going to be a question that we will resolve in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. I've seen the, the views have gone down a little bit on this series. I hope that, you know, it's only temporary. I hope you guys are still interested in Sea Drake and seeing what happens in Essos. If you are interested, please do leave a comment. It really helps me out. Leave in the comments what your your what your plans would be, what you're hoping that we'll do. And I mean, look how many sea drakes we have. I'm hoping some of them are going to start making cadet house cadet branches. 
because I would very much like them to start making cadet branches. We've just had so many kids that it doesn't make it makes sense. You know, it doesn't make sense to land anyone else. Basically, is my point. When we have this many kids. Either way, thank you guys so much for all of your support on the series. And now we have a Valyrian steel. Our prestige is undeniable. We are the power of Essos. And that power is going to be used very, very well in the next episode. Until then. <laughs>